All right then, just a very quick tip for you on how to create an edge mask in the iPad version of Photo. So I've got an image here and if I open the Layers Studio, we'll see I've already got some layer work going on here. So this is a typical document where you might have some layer structure going on. And what I want to do is make sure I have the pixel background layer selected like so. Then on the command menu here, I want to duplicate it. Okay, so I've got my duplicated layer selected, which is good. I'll move across to the Filters Studio, and I want to find the filter called Detect Edges. There we go. Okay, so that runs an edge detection filter. And then what we need to do is, ensuring we still have that layer selected, we want to once again go to the Command menu and choose Rasterize, and Rasterize to Mask. OK, so as you can see on the Layers Studio, that layer has now become a mask. And what we're going to do is just tap the little checkbox to hide that for now. And then we're going to select the initial background pixel layer. So now, moving once again to the Filters Studio, we're going to scroll all the way down and find Unsharp Mask. And rather than tweak any of the settings right now, we're going to tap the little Convert to Live Filter icon and choose Yes given the little performance warning there. And if we move back across to the Layers Studio, we've now got our Unsharp Mask Live Filter layer. So what we're going to do is tap drag Unsharp Mask and bring it out on its own above the background pixel layer. This will then enable us to, if we just select the mask, tap drag the mask and clip it into the Unsharp Mask like so. So I can either now double tap the Unsharp Mask layer to expose the mask, or you can also tap the little Disclosure icon to the side here. But however you choose to do it, what we then want to do is just show that mask again. OK, so now we've shown the mask, let's see what kind of effect it will have on the image. So to get back into the Live Filter dialog, I want to double tap the thumbnail of the Unsharp Mask, not the text, because that will then expand and collapse the layer structure. So just to repeat that, double tap the thumbnail. OK, and I'll set a radius. So I'll just tap the radius option here to get the little calculator view up. Tap 15 in. And then on the factor, I'll change that to 25. OK, and I have a reasonable sharpening effect here. But of course, because we've applied this mask straight away, we don't really appreciate what difference the mask is making. So what I'm going to do is just hide the mask for a minute, and you can see instantly it's quite a dramatic difference. So the Unsharp Mask settings we're using normally, we'd see as way too aggressive. But if we mask them to just the edge detail, we end up enhancing the perception of clarity in the image without completely overcooking it. So there we go. Just a quick tip about how you can easily create an edge mask, and I've just given you an example of its potential use. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.